So you can start out with some fairly simple things. Um, set heading 060. Set heading 060. So one of the things that we're looking at here, you can see our readout of the command here is co-located with what I'm changing. And you notice that the, um, the aircraft didn't actually do anything. You know, that's simply just setting the heading bug itself. So yeah, I could do that with my you know, flight control panel up here. Um, but so then when I confirmed it, so certain functionality would need to be confirmed, you know, from a safety stand standpoint. Um, th this is our implementation of it. We don't necessarily know if this is how we would necessarily implement it as part of a product offering potentially. Um, so we can get into some additional things. Turn left heading 030. Turn left heading 030. So with a small change in what I'm saying, you can see it's setting the heading bug, but now it's also arming an autopilot mode. So, and you can also see we have kind of a message center here that I could click the accept button or I could again confirm, confirm. it there. And it gives you kind of a checklist of what you want to potentially do. And you can see the aircraft starting to turn. Does it make sense to allow a speech recognition system to arm and engage autopilot nodes? We don't know. You know, these are some of the things that we're looking at and we're engaging with pilots on things that they want to see supported, things that they, for various reasons, don't think should be supported. Um, I can do similar things with the speed. Set speed 225. Set speed 225. Confirm. So, you know, you'll see the aircraft starts to slow down. I can do similar things with, um, with altitude. I can set altitude bugs. I could set um, the altitude bugs and arm a vertical speed mode. And then if I confirm that command, you would see that the uh, aircraft would start to climb. We can also do radio tuning is one of the things we're looking at. Tune 121.5. Tune 121. Squawk emergency. Squawk emergency. So one of the things that we're also looking at is, I mean, it, it knows that the emergency transponder is 7700. So it, 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 it tunes that. So you know, getting some context. Into. But that again gets into the what makes sense to do and what doesn't make sense to do. Um, you know, one of the things that you would potentially, if you have an emergency situation, you would turn to your co pilot and say, you know, I'm declaring an emergency, you know, squawk emergency frequency, you know, those standard pilot communications. Well, now just start communicating with the avionics in that manner. 